Hello and welcome back to another video and today it is my matchday vlog of Ebbsfleet versus Gillingham South third pre-season pre friendly so please leave a like on the video let's try and smash 40 likes on the video subscribe if you're new doing loads of football videos and non-league videos so make sure you do subscribe we much much appreciated and let's get straight into it so Gillingham versus Ebbsfleet Gillingham are, are supposedly splitting their squad up um, half of the squad are going down to Dover, uh, and half the squad are playing against Epswick. So, it probably is going to be quite an even test, and um, Gillingham are probably League One, you know, probably in the relegation fight this season. Um, and it's going to be a tough game. They've got some good quality players. Actually, the manager, the Gillingham manager, is going to be at our game, not the Dover game. So, it's going to be an interesting test. Um, I was really, I was impressed by the side on East against Eastbourne. Obviously, that was a lesser test, but we created chances really, really well, uh, and hopefully um, we get to see the same. But hopefully we have um, a good game, an entertaining game, like the one on Tuesday. Uh, but I do think Everton will get the win today. It doesn't, um, it's more to do with the performance, um, but I think we'll have a 2-1 a 2-1 win to Ebsfleet. I'll hopefully be getting the new Ebsfleet shirt today, so I'll be able to update this shirt. Um, so I'll be showing you that in a minute. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you at Stonebridge Road. Tucks 
Moscow. Oh! Shaky. Oh! Fouling Corey White, mate. Oh! Yes! Well done, Maggers! Well done, Maggers! Time Ebbsfleet 2 Gillingham nil. What a game. 
Whew, that was a great game as well. We had, we absolutely dominated in that second half, and didn't think we were playing against a, a League One side. I know they split their squad up, but any Gillingham fans, you were pretty poor in that second half. The fending was pretty bad. Um, let me know if there's any Gillingham fans watching this. How did you split the squad? Were there quite a few first team players? Like, I don't know too much about Gillingham, but focusing on Ebsley, what a performance, what a goal from Ebby Adams. <laughs> I just I, he had so much space, but he was in the wrong position. And he just managed to turn his body, and it's a great assist as well. A nice outside of the foot, brilliant goal, and great game um, to beat an EFL side two 0 It always gives you confidence for the new season. Uh, decent attendance as well, one thousand people there. Quite a few Gillingham fans as well. Um, great game, um, and yeah, hopefully a bit more optimism for the new season. Um, going into that Cambridge game, that could be a bit more of a bigger test considering um, if Cambridge won't split their squad up like Gillingham did, so that'll be a test as well. And then Reading will be a bit iffy to see how many youngsters play and stuff, but really happy with that game. Um, was really impressed by Edward Adams. He looks absolutely class. That goal was brilliant, but he's breaking down play, he's driving that team forward. And I understand what those Leighton Orient fans are saying. He is a really, really good player. Also got the new shirt on as well. Uh, just put it on. Really nice fit. And I like it. I'll show you. There's a picture there. Um, yeah. Great game. Also impressed by. Who else was I impressed by? Uh, I thought Jack King was pretty decent. The other new signing. Um, and Corey Whiteley was pretty decent as well. So, yeah. Really good game. Really positive for the season now. Make sure you smash a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Let's try and smash 40 likes on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Doing loads of video, non-league videos, football videos um, on my channel. So make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all later.